crazy, 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 crazy is what I am. Current time check is 2.06 a.m. in the morning. I woke up at 1 a.m. I came up with this plan last night, threw everything I thought and more I needed into the truck, and we're headed. We're headed five hours north. And, and like I said, I'm probably completely crazy, but we're doing it. We're freaking doing it. Let's go. We got some bananas, some hard boiled eggs, and a warm truck. Okay, come on. Okay. Maybe put you here. Oh, oh, hello there, beautiful. Yes, yeah, no, I wouldn't forget you. I just want to get eaten by a walleye. Yeah, you will. Give it time. Give it like five hours. I want to get eaten by a walleye now. Chill out. Chill out. All right. Bada bing, bada boom. We're off. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. <laughs> All right, what's the fishing report? What's the ice report in the Great White North? Fish are biting. Uh, you know, we've got anywhere from probably four and a half up to nine inches of ice around the local lakes. Uh, Red Lake, you're looking around that five to uh, close to probably 10 inches now as of yesterday. Uh, we don't have much snow around, so fish are kind of spooky. Um, kind of got to stay on them. I mean, you go, you want to hold, they spook about 100 feet, so you kind of got to play around. Also, just gotta wait them out and just hopefully they come underneath you like we used to do in the old days before forward facing stuff. So, but uh, you can still get some good fish. A lot of big crappies and gills been biting. Otherwise, the walleye bite's been phenomenal. So, uh, fish are going, man. Let's get it going. Oh, and dude, the shop looks amazing. This is Northwoods Bait and Tackle. I've been coming up to this place, I don't know, past five years. How long have you been working here? Oh, geez. I think we're coming up on four or five. I can't remember. Yeah. This is a good buddy walleye will see him at Northwoods. They got the best bait in town. This is like your last good tackle and bait store before you get up to red. And if you're on the Bemidji area, this this place is absolutely dialed. So, yeah, we uh, used to be right on Lake Bemidji. Now we moved over on 71. So we're right on the way to Red Lake, Lake of the Woods. We're right off the highway. Quick stop, quick loop. You're right back on the road. Oh, let's get some minutes. Yeah. Rainbows, fathead shiners. What would you recommend? Maybe maybe All some. Three. Oh, All three. All <laughs> three. Okay, I'll do it. A little <laughs> bit of rainbows, a little bit of shiners, and probably a half scoop of fatheads, maybe more. Maybe I should do a full scoop of fatheads. What would you do? I would probably do you. half scoop of fatheads, a scoop of shiners, and a scoop of rainbows. Let's do it. Yup, yup, yup. Last minute goodies. I think that's the one I have in the truck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I need some of these though, these rattling PTs. They're wicked good. They're almost kind of like an advanced, different version of their rattling blade spoon, which I feel like I should probably get maybe one of those as well. I'll do one of these bigger sizes. We're upsizing today. We're getting aggressive in these rattling PTs. I'm gonna get one of these bigger ones. I got it here in my hand and then maybe one of the one eighth ounce. I heard these have been absolutely killer on red recently. Maybe they're biting so hard it doesn't matter, but gotta go with the confidence baits. You're the best brother. Yeah, Let's go get settled go. up for this gear and then I'll freaking be on the way. All right, we're doing good. We're making decent time back on the road. We've got bait, we've got gas. We've probably got like 50 more minutes will be the lake. And that should be just right around the time the sun is popping its nose out. So oh, then I saw her face from ten thousand lightning yeah. out on her forehead. We're here. It's a freaking madhouse here. It is an absolute madhouse. It's a Friday and there's so many people here. My buddies are still getting ready. They're kinda of camping in this back hay field, but um yeah, I'm gonna link up with them soon. I'm I don't know, I feel like a 12 year old kid at a candy store. I'm freaking out. Camera gear, rods, auger, two eye fish pros. Main deal, rods and the Vexlar. Everything else will be okay.
Just a couple guys out today. Cheers. That's wild. All right. We're gonna start walking a little bit, then good buddy Yagi and the mayor are coming to give me a lift. Overall, ice conditions seem really good. There's four wheelers ripping everywhere. And there's, there's a lot of people out here, which is good. You know what I mean? Everybody's out here for the same reason. I freaking slam dunk some walleyes. And yeah, we're just gonna kind of meander in the direction the boys headed. Conditions today should be like 34, 35 degrees. Um, and the wind might pick up this afternoon. It's overcast right now, but I kind of thought it was gonna be sunny. It'll be interesting to see how that affects the bite, but yeah. From what it sounds like, a lot of folks in eight to nine feet of water, that's kind of the range. Obviously you can see people all over. I'm sure there's people way deeper and shallower, but this is good. <laughs> Feels good to be back on the mighty Red Lake. How do, mister? Howdy, howdy. Give me the report, give me the report. Well, we're about a mile that way and we found a little gap where there's nobody nobody at. Um, seems like if you just get away from people, that's the key. And um, we actually have a beautiful morning overcast and it's gonna be a slug fest. Yesterday we got about 13 of them. We were out for two hours, so hope to replicate and let's get it going. Let's get it going, go! Are you marking? Ketchup. Ketchup. He's still there. It's gone. You know, I would sit in the shack, but I'm not a little girl. Yeah, hammer down. All right, second iFish Pro set up. This one's for the mayor. We got a whole slew of guys out here, so I've got a set line. The mayor's got a set line. Augie and his dad are there. Ecknesses are there. The mayor's right over there, and we're just kind of keying in on some white ice, trying to get away from people. There's so many people out here. I feel like sometimes the best strategy is literally just get away from people and, you know, a little less commotion could result in a little more bites. So, yeah, I think it's time. I think it's time we start jigging. All right, here we go. Starting off with the Old Faithful. 5 sixteenths, pink, Tika. We're getting aggressive, we're getting loud. Keep the bait freaking moving. Some of the boys got a few on the board. I just got the iFish Pro set up, and now we're freaking jigging. Oh, iFish Pro up. Boom. Uh oh. Uh oh. Pip up? I don't know if it's taking any. I don't think it's taking any. Yeah, it worms. Fish on. He wasn't even taking it. Oh, nice one. Choked it. We're on the board. Oh, this one might be over 17 inches. That was quick. That was really quick. All right, this one is 18 and a half. 
We're gonna keep this bad boy. This will be my over. Right now on red, you're allowed four. One over 17, and the rest gotta be under 17. So from here on out, they all gotta be smaller than this. I'm just gonna slit his gills right here, bleed them out, good to go. Let's do that again. Let's do that again. That was so quick. That was, that was the shiner. That one was a little higher. That was probably a foot and a half off the bottom. All right, maybe we'll go with that again. It looks good. Feels right. We'll do it. All right, we're rolling. I'm rolling. I just set this. No way. I'm going to hit him. Fish on. Oh, he come off. No. Oh. That one kind of felt good. Shoot. What do you got on right now, a spoon? Oh my gosh, that's freaking hot over there. This is a hot hole. I don't know if he's taking any line. I don't think he's taking any. Do you got it? Do you got it? Did he take my bait? Could have been a porch. Oh no, the shiner's still there. Okay. Okay, okay. This is a hot hole. <laughs> Brooks just comes and takes the iFish Pro out of the hole and starts jigging in it. <laughs> I just pictured it in my head. Okay. This hole's definitely hot. All right, you want to hear something? This is a freaking power move right here. I'm going to absolutely smoke a big one out of that hole. If I put it on you right here. You can drop some knowledge on the folks too. Let them know. Well, you know I ain't going to catch you put that camera there. <laughs> That's the point where I had to get it off of me. <laughs> it honestly is like, you put the camera on somebody, they ain't gonna catch shit. Oh my God, I got it. Get him, get him. All right, folks, come with me. <laughs> <laughs> this one's taking it, this one's taking it. <laughs> this is a hot hole. No, 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 take take the, so first take. I have no idea. Take the oh, iFish Pro. Oh, it's Sam. I gotta set this no, hook, no, baby. No, it's okay, it's okay. Take the iFish Pro off. And you can set them if you want. There we go. That a boy! This is a nice rod. I like it actually. It feels nice. That a boy. This has been a hot hole. We literally just put it back down. I like this rod a lot. Oh, Sam. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. I know I had to get him through that first loop. It's a nice fish. Oh, it's a nice one. Get him. Nice. <laughs> That's cool, oh, baby. That a boy. Happy days. That a boy. God, it's just nice to be around home catching these walleyes like this. <laughs> it's a fat one. You got your over yet or no? No. Nice. Taco. Yeah. She will be getting eaten, that's for sure. That is a really nice fish. We'll take it. <laughs> for Red Lake, this is about, I mean, I, I haven't seen too many that are bigger than that, to be honest. That's it's a freaking beauty. All right. Cool. We'll get her set back up. This is the freaking hot hole, no doubt. All right, Sam, rebate that for me. <laughs> <laughs> God, that hole is hot, dude. No, I feel like that white ice right there. I know, dude. I, I know we got to throw a freaking iFish Pro on it. I probably should pop out a little further. I wouldn't mind getting out there farther. Sometimes, sometimes guys say in the morning they'll be a little shallower, and then toward afternoon they'll push out to like 10. We did. We've been hearing the opposite. Yeah, we've heard the opposite. Really? <laughs> I'm sure it's like a big game of telephone. Na 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 Yeah, I'll, I'll go move up. Rip, rip a couple on that white ice. Where are you going, Brock? Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, I wonder how far this is down his throat, dude. The whole time? No, it must not have been. It's not that far down his throat. Wow. I literally was just going to move this. I fish pro and he must have smacked it when I started reeling it. 
Do we still need another over or no? Sweet. Freaking beauty. It's actually, I think the temperature is going down. Yeah, and I think the, the wind even seems a little less than what it was. Right, what they said it was going to be. I think so too. There we go. What are you doing? Came in out of nowhere. Get out of my neighborhood. <laughs> Oh, nice perch! Oh, nice hell? perch! <laughs> nice man! Well, because I was getting marks up high. No, that one came in. I was probably a foot and a half off the bottom. It's a beauty perch. Sweet! What do you come after? Uh, I got just a little pinhead on. Oh, that's all I got. But I got a swivel. But I, I was not marking him. I was looking at Brooks's face. Well, there you go. And he just smoked it. Now you got to look at it. All right, bait change. Some of our pals are doing pretty good on an all white rattle and blade spoon, but I think this one should really crush white and silver. Bait change again. The iFish Pros were super hot and heavy for like an hour stretch there. It was just pop, pop, pop. We'd catch some, we'd miss some. They were just ripping by and hitting it. But now it's kind of calmed down. We've kind of reached potentially the lull of the day, maybe that 10 o'clock, but that's why Red Lake's super cool. Sometimes there can just be wicked bite windows and schools of fish that move in all day long. So it's just a matter of probably keeping your bait wet. Look at all those folks out there. Holy smokes. All right, let's do them dirty on this. Hope you guys, we got the meet time report here. It's currently 10, 27 right now and we're on a beautiful Red Lake. We have 17 dead walleyes on the ice, two perch. We need 24. We're gonna put in a little power hour here and see if we can uh, finish up this limit. Round out this six man. Gorgeous. That's a lot of beautiful meat. Man, it's crazy. It's not even a weekend but just the amount of folks that come up here to do this, just crush early ice red lake walleyes, it's crazy. It's almost like a yearly pilgrimage, which I'm sure happens, you know, throughout the rest of December and January. And I'm sure there's good times and bad times, but it's, it's crazy. This lake is such a resource. There's millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of walleyes out here. And there's thousands of people that come out here and do this. And I'm sure they're all having semi-consistent luck. I'm sure there's some folks that are doing pretty bad. And then some folks that'll have, you know, potentially a 40 or 50 fish day. But it's just gnarly to think about this kind of annual ice fishing pilgrimage that happens here on Red Lake. It's, it's only happening right here, just in a small section of Upper Red. Um, the general public is allowed to fish basically a little less than one half of Upper Red Lake and the rest is all on reservation land. Um, and it's just, it's gnarly. I, I really would love to know the science behind this lake and why it's so crazy good for walleyes. Maybe it's just such successful spawning or um, just perfect conditions for them to spawn and just continue to reproduce. And this, this giant mecca of a fishery just continues to pump out tons and tons and tons of walleye, but it's just, it's crazy. And obviously, like many of you know, the crappies are coming back out here as well. And there's good perch populations, good pike. And I think one thing too is this lake virtually doesn't get much pressure all summer long. Obviously there's folks that come and walleye fish in their boats, but it's really just two months out of the year that it really gets pounded. Besides that, I feel like it's pretty quiet up here. At least that's what a lot of the locals say, but it's it's crazy and it's fun you know it's fun to see people out ice fishing they're safe ice they're enjoying it they've got their friends their family they got their daughters their sons their aunts their uncles and everybody's out here just jigging for walleyes as they cruise through and it's it's a really good opportunity for folks to come out and crush walleyes especially if they don't have a lot of walleye experience or if this might just be their one trip a year that they do for walleyes so if you're from northern minnesota you probably hate hearing about red lake and you hate people talking about it or you even hate people going there but if you're not from up here this really is a special treat and it's it's a good time it's a freaking blast just sitting out here watching some my fish pros jigging and then wow all right there it is limited limited out six man limit that's awesome the cool thing about red is it's actually really hard to catch unders out here there's so many quality fish the average is so nice you catch a lot of fish over 17. Really quick, I'll show you my setup, even though I kind of got schooled in jigging. The iFish Pros are popping for me and for the other boys, they're jigging them up. 
but this is a little Tatsumi medium light, 28 inch, really freaking nice for 15 to 20 inch walleyes. If I was going to, you know, Winnipeg chasing giant greenbacks, this would probably not be the rod, but for Red Lake, this is an absolute killer. It's a combo, so it has a Tatsumi reel too, but you can kind of see it's a nice short rod. Be great for inside a shack. Really nice and parabolic on the front end, but loads up. So you can kind of drive the hook home, but it's a really true rod. You fight the whole fish on the rod, you see that? It's not like it has a weird angled bend, almost like a noodle rod. You don't want that, especially when you're going for walleyes or any bigger game fish. It's got a really true bend and it's just a really nice jigging rod. I would have liked to smoke them more, but my buddies are fast, so. The mayor, Augie, his dad, and the Acnesses, they pounded out a lot of our jigging fish and then the iFish Pros, like you saw, did kind of the rest of the work. So I think we're gonna probably pile up this meat haul, head back in and start cleaning fish, and then I don't know what we're gonna do with that. All right, we're dealing with kind of an issue here. Our four wheelers are right there and this huge crack opened up and it goes for a long, long time. A lot of people said they've seen a couple people fall through. It's just crazy how stuff can open up. Not good. Not good. Pretty sweet. This is where all the boys are camping out at. JR's and a lot of these resorts have all their sleeper houses either on the ice right on shore or they got them way back here just kind of in big open fields and people can pull in rent them for the weekend or a week go out do some fishing and yeah I think we're gonna head up to the tavern right now cut up some fish eat some fish and just enjoy the afternoon enjoy the bounty Something ain't right Got to find a way To move ahead 